All right, so we have reached the end of summer vacation. I had six weeks to read as many books as I could, and I read seven books. And this, is, so this is the last and seventh book of the summer review. And this book is God's Graves and Scholars by C. W. Serum. You'll see there on the picture uh, that this is the second revised edition, and that came out in 1967. So this has been, this is a bit of old, it was a random find in an old book sale, and a lot of these books have been random finds, but this was an old book uh, sale find back in the spring. But as someone who is a student of history, who is a teacher of history, I found this really fascinating because it's a history of archaeology. And it's through archaeology that we today know more about some of the ancient civilizations than the civilizations that were closer to them understood these civilizations. So, for instance, we know more about Assyria than the ancient Greeks did. We know more uh, the Sumerian civilization. We didn't even have confirmation of it until the mid 1900s, basically. So, archaeology is really important. In this and Serum starts the story uh, with Pompeii, and this because that's where modern or the science of archaeology really begins. But what he does throughout the book is he takes key moments where there is dramatic discovery or there is a colorful individual who advanced uh, the study of archaeology further, and he focuses in and tells those stories. And he does this in four main areas. He does uh, with Pompeii, he's doing uh, the Romans and the Greeks, primarily the Greeks, though. And then we go across the Mediterranean and we're looking at uh, Egypt and the pyramids and the Valley of the Kings and King Tut and then and of course today we call that Egyptology and then we go over to Mesopotamia where uh, like with breaking hieroglyphics helping us to understand what that there uh, in, in Egypt in Assyria the breaking of the code of how to understand cuneiform uh, really revolutionized our understanding of of Assyria and but then the fourth one is interesting because it's Mesoamerica where Europeans actually showed up to these civilizations and then almost destroyed our the memory of them um, beginning with Cortez um, and then the priests who came at, uh, came with and after him and so we've uh, been digging through the jungle to uh, recover a lot of history that had been previously lost. Now, this book is from 1967, so there are some things like some out-of-date facts. Um, more importantly for some of y'all, probably out-of-date viewpoints. There is the... Uh, he tr goes a bit too far in a conclusion saying that the flood story, the epic of Gilgamesh proves the biblical flood story, but that's... Um, modern archaeologists would not agree with that conclusion. The uh, and then also, uh, you know, things like maybe there's a little too favorable opinion stated uh, or uh, a little too flattering of statements about some of the conquistadors uh, or the people who were really glorified grave robbers in Egypt and, and things of that nature. But what he does a really good job is painting the picture of how this, which oftentimes was dramatic, how this discovery came to be, and the colorful characters who were behind those moments. And if you want a good understanding of how we have really changed our understanding of ourselves, of our history, this is a great book, I think, to read, and I really recommend it. So four out of five stars for it. So you know what? Uh, my summer may be over, but hey, go read. <laughs>